Hi there. Now, in the last part here, we've got to determine whether or not A and B are independent. And I've just put down the three results that we've already got for parts A, B and C, just in case you need them, and the Venn diagram that we've also got so far. So, if you'd like to have a go at this, just give you a moment as usual to pause the video. Okay, welcome back then if you had a go. So let's see how we can do this. Well, there's two ways that we can tackle this. Um, I'll give you the quick way first of all for this particular question. It's not necessarily going to be the quickest way for all questions like this. But uh, if we're to show that A and B are independent, then one way would be to look at the probability of A given B. If it were independent, then the probability of A would not depend on B. It would just be equal to the probability of A. And so I want to check that both of these are exactly the same. Well, we can see the probability of A given B, we were told, was 0 0.6. But what about the probability of A? Ah, looking up here, we worked it out as being 0 0.6 as well. So therefore, they both equal 0 0.6. So the conclusion would be that A and B are independent. Now I did say there was another way that we could look at this question, okay? And I'll show you what that way is. Okay, we'll just put OR as an alternative method here. And that is, if two events are independent, the probability of A intersected with B ought to equal the probability of A times the probability of B. Now we know the probability of A intersected with B is 0 0.33, but let's work out the probability of A times the probability of B. Well, we know the probability of A is 0 0.6, and as for B, okay, what's the probability of B? Well, it's going to be 0 0.33 plus 0 0.22. So 0 0.33 plus 0 0.22. So in other words, you've got 0 0.6 multiplied with 0 0.55. And if you work this out, indeed, it does come to 0 0.33. So therefore, this version, I would say, therefore, since the probability of A intersected with B turns out to be exactly the same as the probability of A times the probability of B, then it would follow, and we'll just do it over here, it would follow that A and B are independent. So two ways, but I can think for this question, this way is obviously the quicker of the two. I didn't put this other probability in here, not that we needed it, but it would be 0 0.27, just if you wanted to complete that Venn diagram. Okay, 